in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed so the first information is that a man only begins to rejoice when the spirit of your result has been received. That every result and every dimension has a spirit component. And that when you have it, then it is a reality. Listen very carefully. Elijah knew this. And when he began to pray, there was something he was looking for. That rain in itself has a spirit component. Are we together now? And the moment he started seeing that manifestation, he knew that something had already been crystallized in the realm of the spirit. And he began to run. And within a short time, there was a, a thick cloud. God has not given us the spirit of fear. The second thing I want you to learn is how God deals with fear. Look how dangerous fear is. That it takes three dimensions of God's spirit to totally conquer fear. Look at how God addresses fear. That because of how dangerous and serious this operation is, it is not enough to give you power. It won't conquer fear. That there is a tripartite combination of power, of love, and of a sound mind. This is what will totally conquer fear in a man's life. So God has not given you the spirit of fear but to shield you from the effect of fear he gives you the spirit of power he gives you the spirit of love he gives you the spirit of sound mind listen that means there is a relationship between weakness and fear if he gives you power is because weakness is associated with fear are you getting what i'm saying now there is a relationship between weakness and fear that every time you are not aware of strength the reaction is that you can allow fear to find expression number two that there is a revelation of the love of god and love towards men that if you do not sustain fear will be inevitable number three there is a relationship between a depraved understanding and fear Look at how God solves the issue of fear. Love, power, sound mind. Do you know, listen, let me tell you this. <clears throat> fear looks like a very simple issue. But did you know that every other spirit waits for fear to walk? If you reject fear, you can reject every other spirit. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Meaning that every spirit is at the mercy of fear. It is fear that has the courage to open the door. That every oppression of darkness that comes to you stands waiting for fear to give them access. And that fear begins to manipulate your understanding. And that if you lack power, you lack love, you lack a sound or an enlightened mind, you will give fear access and with fear every other manifestation. Many people fail in life, not necessarily because of ignorance, because of fear. Fear. The fear to take steps, the fear to arise, the fear to minister, the fear to do so many things. That's why when angels appear, the first thing they tell people is fear not. Because they know that the weakness of men wires them to be afraid. 
yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear not that means that is what is supposed to happen that every time you are surrounded by uncertainty the valley of the shadow not the spirit the shadow the similitude of death meaning that whatever looks like death can cause fear no matter how real or aberrated it is the valley of the shadow of death it causes fear but it says i will fear no evil there is a reason for thou art with me i have an understanding of what your presence and your love can do listen very carefully courage is not the issue of masculinity it is a product of understanding certain things about god that the spirit of power is given to men so that they can conquer fear if you are suddenly told right now <clears throat> that you have the power to cure cancer even at stage four maybe a drug do you know you will no longer be afraid is that true mm. the information that you hear does something to you and if you do not have the power to resist it it will cause fear and when fear enters you it will destroy everything about your life so the spirit of fear manipulates your understanding manipulates your faculty of expression how many of you have seen children because of their understanding they do not easily have the fortitude for fear you, you get the point now they are not aware that this can hurt them and so they will come with confidence that means that the moment you are aware of the potential of a thing to destroy you and you are aware that you do not have power over it it will create an unnecessary sense of caution why do we fear poverty because we think we do not have power over it why do we fear death have you seen traditionalists that cut themselves and nothing happens a system try to aberrate power and immune them so they can dare the unbearable because they are aware that there is some form of power that has given them immunity are we together now when armed robbers go to rob and they rob all kinds of things around them they believe the awareness that there is some power that they have will make them look at you and even stand in front of a gun and then you shoot and nothing happens and they laugh why because something has immune them that means the awareness of lack of power will keep you in fear forever please listen to what i'm teaching you the fear of failure causes failure the fear of limitation causes limitation the fear of weakness causes weakness the fear of death causes death the fear of poverty causes poverty wasteful spending is bad but fearful spending is evil are you seeing that now yes notice the degree to which fear controls our life the moment you are driving suddenly fear comes you can die and all of a sudden you are confused a voice speaks to you and say you can die you have a dream and in that dream you see yourself in a coffin you stand up and all of a sudden in your own room you are no longer comfortable you need somebody else's presence to console you no voice was heard something was done to your mind but the awareness of power he says but the people that do know their god they shall be strong strong power the awareness that the believer can sustain power over and against the works of darkness can annihilate and destroy fear listen listen to me fear has destroyed more people than you can imagine 
there are many people who may never rise there are many families who may never rise there are many ministers who may never rise because of fear the fear of death being the greatest of them i will die i may die job said the thing that i feared most has come upon me because fear works like faith so the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power number two of love there is something about the understanding of the love of god you see the bible says i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness let me talk to you why do people not give what is the reason talk to me if i tell you empty your account now what do you think is going to happen to you you say well it's not what's the issue why why should i empty it i've planned it for something it's called fear fear are we together now oh travel from here to lagos you say ah night boss this abuja kaduna express where i've i've had stories around it fear listen very very carefully fear has destroyed a lot of people you cannot rise because you are afraid and the bible says there is something about the knowledge of the love of god you see sometimes we need to really know who god is there are many believers who cannot even rise spiritually because of an aberrated understanding of who god is so there is something about the love of god he says the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the love of god for god so loved the world behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us if god who did not spare his son but offered him freely how much more listen he says if ye being evil know how to give good gifts so a revelation of the love of god can settle your confidence that i know that i know that i know that god will back me that i know that i know that i know that god loves me and his interest has been invested upon my life and then the spirit of a sound mind when the lord opened my eyes to this i said wow a sound mind is not just psychological a sound mind is a spirit no wonder the madman in gadara he was not just mad because he was confused his talking anyhow was a reflection of his spirit that was at work and the bible says when jesus casted that spirit they came later and found him sitting with jesus in his right mind in his right mind a sound mind the word sound here means balanced it means enlightened an enlightened mind is a spiritual mind that you have too much information to just shift you left and right you are an adult if i tell you this chair will break you will not be afraid because there is a sound mind you have an understanding enough to know it was built to take your weight a sound mind that means when we do not have an enlightened perception and an understanding it can create fear all kinds of fear think how many things fear has done in your life it is a dangerous spirit it causes bondage all kinds and all sorts of bondage there are people today who will never buy a car because of fear there are people today who will never travel because of fear there are some of you who will never go to the village because you had a report somewhere and you say me and village god forbid fear God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power. Do you know what the spirit of power is? The spirit of power is not just the anointing. No, no, there are two different things. The spirit of power is not the anointing. When Moses was telling Joshua, <laughs> he said, Joshua, be strong and of good courage. That is the spirit of power. 
is the daring the spirit of power is not just an anointing to heal the sick no 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 is a grace is a spirit that plants faith that grants you access to confront things confront challenges be strong he said and of good courage did the bible not say be strong in the lord and in the power of his might every time the bible is talking about the arsenals of darkness it says be strong you need the power the strength the capacity to dare the unbearable if you will ever rise to be great the spirit of power mm. that grace was upon esther and she says i'm going to go and see the king if i perish i perish that's the spirit of power let me tell you this there are times in your life when you will not see any boat you are going to have to trust god and jump on that water and begin to walk by the spirit the revelation that the power of the holy spirit is able not only to keep but to protect to lift his divine power the spirit of power lord you have spoken i believe you i don't know how it will happen but in the name of jesus what do you want me to do lord if you say i should empty my account i'm going i if i perish let me perish be strong and of good courage because life will intimidate you and it will cause fear fear in ministry fear in life fear of anything but you need the spirit of power life does not give you guarantee for any result when you see people who have results let me tell you especially in the kingdom much more than just their belief and their conviction about god this was the grace that was at work in them the spirit of power the spirit of power not just the anointing to heal the sick the courage the fortitude the capacity to stand and say bring any weight this is what was upon david when he stood before goliath it was not just the anointing to heal the sick no he stood before goliath and said who is this uncircumcised philistine because notice how goliath oppressed them he used fear he came and continued to use his size to oppress them and then a young boy comes with the spirit of power and looks at him and says who is this uncircumcised philistine then he now says am i a dog look at goliath talking now am i a dog that you come to me with sling and spheres and then he says well you may come to me with your bow and all of this but i come to you in the name of the lord god of israel the one you have defied then david now says mr man let me even tell you how i'm going to kill you not only that you are going to die this is what will happen i will first throw you on the ground then i will use your own sword and remove your head and give it to the birds the spirit of power there are many of you who have experienced this in the place of prayer and you did not know it was it that you begin to pray over something you are confused you don't know where the rent is going to come from the fear is eating you up suddenly while you are praying this grace begins to come on you and you stand up and begin to speak and act boldly the lord is my light and my salvation hmm. and you begin to make bold proclamations and stand at the gate of the enemy and decree and declare that regardless of what it is the word of god will come to pass let me tell you this since fear is a spirit that means fear can know people and it can know those who it should not try again any spirit can talk can know look at the bible the spirits in the madman in gadara spoke to jesus have you come to destroy us before our time they are knowledgeable they are not ignorant they are not robots that means when fear comes to you it observes your response when it sees the deficiency of power of a revelation of the love of god and of an enlightened mind it is permitted to come in and destroy you are we together 
i've shared with you how that many times i can be at the airport or i'm on my way taking a trip and some person sometimes i don't know them sometimes i know them they can send me text and say apostle please i just saw an accident a ghastly motor accident and i saw you dying please don't think i'm speaking bad against you i just saw you dying please cancel that journey now the person may be sincere but the spirit of fear takes that opportunity and wants to manipulate you are we together now when you hear that a loved one dies it does something to you fear will capitalize on it who is next because that loved one who died was a christian that loved one who died was this and that and that fear is a dangerous spirit the day you go to the hospital and they tell you sorry you you thought you were aa we just discovered that you are sso from that day fear comes to the hospital too as they're announcing the result it takes the result and works on your mind while you are sleeping it says begin to count let's assume you have 40 more days to live and then it begins to help you count down you will think nothing will happen until you see what begins to happen to you all your goals and dreams will just pack up fear has taken advantage of a an incorrect communication of rapture to destroy believers and make them irresponsible it looks like it's a spiritual statement but that awareness every time you want to take a giant step it comes and says what is there jesus is on his way coming and it's supposed to look like a good thing but because you have been threatened about the coming of jesus that it represents judgment and what even you, you what will happen to you and you are not productive until you find out you are 70 years old and nothing happened the spirit of fear has destroyed a lot of people the spirit of fear has stopped people from receiving the spirit of fear has stopped people from rising the spirit of fear has stopped people from daring a lot of things but tonight that in the name of jesus we will conquer fear let me tell you something one of the effects of fear is that it makes you to forget the goodness and the benefits of god when fear comes upon you it can erode the awareness of everything god has done in your life he said bless the lord oh my soul listen very carefully bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name then he begins to list i hope you know that all the things he's listing are the things that cause fear who forgiveth your sins who healed your diseases who delivers you from this and that he said bless the lord that means that even gratitude you will not be able to say lord thank you because you are aware fear you know you've heard my story i used to be oppressed by demon spirits real demon spirits and now the dangerous thing about the ability to see is that demons can also take advantage of it it's not everything you need to see are we together now and i will lie down on the bed and with my own eyes here these spirits just enter my room they don't open the door they don't do anything i shout jesus i shout everything i know to shout just like you have been shouting and i tell you it doesn't do anything to them you see you are laughing because that's what you are secretly afraid of because jesus is supposed to be like the highest factor that drives spirits when you shout jesus and they don't at least react i shouted jesus 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 and these spirits they would come press my neck and i'm just watching i can struggle for hours do you know it got so bad that every time it was evening it would affect me i used to sleep at the edge of the bed if you like put the bed from this wall to that wall i would sleep at the edge do you know why so that when they begin to oppress me i would do my best and fight my way at least when i'm falling down what whatever happens i can fall down and wake up
Yes, it's true. Wicked spirits. I remember the day the revelation of the power and the grace of God came upon me. I ran home. I didn't pray. I ran home and I stood outside and I begged them to come. I officially invited them. Fear. Fear. When you lose the ability to be afraid of evil, that statement, I will fear no evil. There is no limit to what your life can be. When God grants you the grace to reject fear. The reason why many do not give is because of fear. Fear that there is insufficiency and they may never rise. The reason why many people keep running abroad and can smuggle their way through Chad, through Libya, move through the forest and the desert and almost die because they are getting to Europe is because they believe that one day Nigeria will pack up and everybody will kill everybody and the oil will finish or we are going to drink it or something will happen. Fear. The moment they announced recession in Nigeria, people who were not working started suffering. People who didn't have jobs, who were not supposed to be afraid, they were already like that since, but they received something. Fear just sat upon Nigeria. Recession. And people started going down and started giving reasons to say, look, you two, you know how times are. Recession. When men say that there is a casting down, you, that means you are not a man. You are a man who, but something has lifted you beyond the realm of men. When men shall say there is a casting down, that you will say there is a lifting up. Is it not in your Bible that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side? Listen to me very carefully. It says, but none shall hurt you. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked. If you allow fear to get to you, it will destroy you. Ladies, listen to me. They have told you the moment you get to 28, 29, 30, certain things start happening to your system. You can believe it. Or they can tell you when you are 50 years old, or 50 something you cannot be able to give birth again and your life will be destroyed the moment people celebrate 50 years they start deteriorating because they call it midlife crisis they expect something to go wrong when they are 60 years and nothing has happened in their life it sounds strange fear fear the spirit of fear there are many of you today who cannot rise to do certain things because fear has told you we are ordinary people we are weak people let me not embarrass myself let me not disgrace myself but god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love listen let me tell you this i pray for you that the love of god will truly be a revelation in your heart He said, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. I have loved you unashamedly with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. What shall separate us from the love of God? You, you have to know why Paul is teaching these things. What shall separate us? Then he begins to list all the things that you think can separate you. From the love of God, famine, wars, etc. I say, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors by the revelation of the love of God. So when the devil tries to project fear, the revelation of who God is, listen, and the fact that he loves me, that the jealousy of God is an investment upon my life. When you know this, like you want to hurt a little child and he will run to his father you see some of these are little ones they run all around and with confidence they jump on you and they expect you to hold the bible said trust in the lord 
trust in the lord listen with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding the word trust is the word bata is the word that gives an expression of someone jumping hoping that the father will hold you to take away all the limitations and just throw yourself at god and say lord i know that you are able to hold me and while people are saying oh dear a hand that comes to protect you and that hand is called the love of god the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the love of god the love of god will not allow darkness eat you up the love of god will not allow you to be a shame and reproach to you and your family be aware of this you are god's investment his love is upon you it will give you an understanding you are not alone please listen to what i'm telling you because you will stand and you will confront battles where there is no human assistance but the awareness of the love of god i know that god loves me it's a revelation that i have i have gotten in a way that i'm grateful for the love of god the love of god the love of god the love of god furnish within you if there is one person god will favor on this earth is me i know it's because of his love i don't know how far between you and him but i know he has drawn me into the inner chamber of his love like the king tells esther come what do you want even up to half of my kingdom this is my mentality when i pray this is my mentality when i talk there is no fear that's why sometimes i can tell you ah there's someone outside there do you think it's just because i'm seeing a vision this is a risk you don't stand before the whole world and speak stupidly like that what if nothing happens and nothing happens again and nothing happens again and nothing happens again the love of god the love of god for we know that all things work together not for everybody not for every christian to them that love the lord and to those who are the called the called the called according to his purpose the revelation of the love of god is something that has consumed me you know sometimes when i sit down i say what's 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 that lady's song take it down for me let's let's shout that song Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, Listen, to you is a song, but God wants it to be a revelation. What will you do if you suddenly knew that the jealousy of Jesus is standing by you to protect you? You think the love of God is a little issue? until you see what has happened in your life as a result of lack of knowing it when Mukhtar came here with his wife when he held that lady he was happy standing protecting her and speaking and you could see the confidence in his love and does by a ring now whether you like her or not is no longer an issue the ring has demonstrated that this love is a lifetime commitment was it not the awareness of the love of the father of the prodigal son that gave him the courage to get up and return back home he was with pigs and for a while every time he thought of going back fear would keep him you see what fear does and then one time he said mm -mm, how many hired servants has my father and i'm here feeding with swine he said i know something about my father there is something i know about him no matter what we know how to settle ourselves i will arise and i will go to my father do you know while he was talking the father was already on his way coming the bible didn't say he went and met the father at home ah the father was saying no he's my son no matter what love love no matter i will still meet him and come and carry him and while he was coming afar off immediately he saw the father he gave him a hug and 
put a signet ring the love of God the love of God so when you see things in your life listen to me and you know that ah, the way things are now Kai oh God this Nigeria God you have already said this is a year of extraordinary what is happening then you rest in the fact that God what is mine that you are mindful of for you to know this you have to see a gentleman in love what is that girl that you are mindful of that they are talking to you you are not even hearing again how are you and you ah, sorry ah, that's exactly what happens to god listen you are laughing but i need you to understand that means i am in his mind he's thinking right now what do i do for joshua selman how do i lift him oh i see all the attacks around his life but my love my love my love my love for him my love for him is the confidence i use when i minister to people i know his jealousy is an investment upon my life that he will protect with his blood do you know this about god so when somebody looks at you and says i will kill you the person doesn't know what he's saying you need to know who you will kill first nobody comes with any nonsense prophecy and scares me no no the love of god has created a vaccination against that rubbish oh apostle i just saw you dying oh apostle no 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 because many of us are we are victims of all kinds of speakings from people and they may not listen they may not necessarily be lying do you know your family has witchcraft do you know your family has this god can deliver you but the fact that you cannot even think that god can lift you every time i see people who can bless me i start rejoicing i know what god is going to do god i know what god will do i live a very happy life knowing that i can rest in his love the spirit of love the spirit of love the spirit of love hmm. elijah knew this when there was famine he didn't say god what about me how am i going to eat no god if you kill me who now prophesies over israel and god says for you i exempt you go to brook cherith i don't know whether you understand sowing or reaping but i'm going to make a bed because men will not agree to come and meet you so i will use an animal this is the revelation over my life i believe in the love of god over this ministry you see when you know god it doesn't look fair when god's love zooms towards you is a fearful thing it takes away fear from your life the fear of the future what will the future be like what will the future be like will i have children will they be well behaved your brain cannot carry that kind of load he says my yoke is easy fear can make you a laborer it can give you assignments that didn't come from god a lady of 18 years is already touching her womb all around hoping she'll be pregnant you can imagine that kind of thing by yourself you are sitting in front of the internet many things to browse the presence of god you just start browsing signs of cancer enter what do you think made you do that now please listen to what i'm telling you and if you will find something there that you may have once your leg starts paining you ha, it's a sign that this and that you say ah that pain jesus you love me too much too much too much it's a revelation my father loves me too much oh too 
look at Jesus he says this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased listen listen you see the way we live our lives many times is a mockery on the love of God it shows that there is something about the love of God we do not know your ATM gets missing and for that whole day you are moody it's not the ATM is that your trust was in it and now that your ATM has disappeared fear now comes what if somebody gets it and withdraws money how much is even there have you seen now fear fear you wake up in the night and for you forgot to close your door now it's good to close your door but it's fear that the speed you who has entered listen it's a terrible way to live and to deliver those who through fear have all their lifetime subject to bondage the moment people are about to retire they start you see people who were once confident they will now tell you ah how do i this life you know how this thing is now and what you fear comes upon you eventually in my life i don't think failure i truly am a winner you can wear life till you win it comes by a revelation of who god is you can you can wear situations and circumstances please listen to me i can never fail truly speaking truly speaking it's his love that keeps me conscious i know what he has put upon me and i know what it can do so when i tell you that if i pray for you you will be blessed it's not arrogance it is an awareness mm. you're amazing listen when you have this knowledge please just walk with me we're going to pray don't trivialize what you hear me share tonight please don't trivialize it you will be surprised at the level of failure that comes to your life if you don't listen to what i'm telling you the awareness god's interest is in my life god's interest is in my life his reputation upon me is at stake and he will move all and sundry to see his purpose is birthed that way you enter your rest it's a sabbath that comes knowing you see it says my father walk hitherto i walk that means that there it is when it is when the father is walking and you are walking something is wrong as he's walking I am resting in the fact that my interest is protected the love of God the love of God when I think about the love of God fear there is no fear not fear of the future where this is a, this is this is a powerful word there is nothing that God has told me that I don't believe in because I know his love I know what God can do I have seen in earthly terms what a guy can do when he loves a lady pastor alpha i've seen what you can do because you love your wife pastor femi i've seen what you can do to mercy because you love her these these are human beings have you ever seen someone flog your child in school he was wrong go yet you dragged that child and went to school and said where's the teacher must you flog you have to look for a way of defending your child it's called love you conquer fear when you are aware of the love of god if i hear that favor is coming this way i don't say lord i hope it will reach me yeah yeah my prayer is for you that lord when you finish with me let it at least touch them because if that favor comes i know i know this no is is a revelation my brothers and my sisters the love of god god loves me god loves me god loves me joshua selman 
the little children used to sing yes jesus loves me we became adults and forgot the song and fear took over our lives jesus loves me jesus loves my future jesus loves my destiny jesus loves my results jesus loves my longevity it is in his interest that i do well he said i will give you a new heart a new spirit all of those things he said for my name's sake my name's sake there is a word for it is called reputation i heard today that one of our ladies who is or was in the school of ministry that the lady i think she just collapsed or something and like a mental problem maybe like a bipolar problem and all of that the moment they spoke to me i don't know her but the fact the the fact that she's part of a family that i lead my love and my jealousy kicked in immediately when i got home i sent a text to one of our ladies i said so how much are the bills and who is there it's called love when some are trusting in horses and chariots you just stand there stranded and here comes that bridegroom the faithful bridegroom who is keeping my bride waiting have you not read that jealousy is the rage of a man you want to see an angry man touch his wife he may respect you and be nice but you just touch his wife when you are aware that you are the bride of christ and fear comes was it not what Haman was trying to do to esther he was trying to put fear i'm going to annihilate the jews he was even digging the gallows already but esther knew something about the king and when she provoked his love even apology brought him to trouble you still want to rape my wife upon the fact that you have annoyed her have you not been told that you are the apple of his eyes you come and try to touch my eyes listen to what i'm telling you i want you to end this fear thing once and for all in your life fear of failure where will help come from who will arise for me it's an insult listen in this ministry right now if you get up by god's grace you get up and say you come and meet me and say apostle i hope you have generator for the end of the service i i hope that uh, by tomorrow I, I hope this meeting there's miracle service on friday as just i hope you will not be embarrassed you see i will look at you and i will feel very sad because it's an insult so when you turn to god and say god so now who will help me and god says don't worry i said mm, tell me who because i i don't trust you there's something about you and god says you trusted your landlord you trusted your lecturer with five years of your life a guy came to you from somewhere like the bush and just two weeks of knowing him you trusted him with your heart and god says trust me with your destiny and fear says mm -mm. god has a track record of failing men be careful tread with god with caution you see that so you say god i'm i'm going to be with you but let me hold on first in case you fail let my uncle be a backup plan and god says me search my credibility search my credibility is why people don't get delivered is why people don't prosper many bad things happen to people because they do not understand the love of god today is kenny's birthday and yesterday when he told me about the birthday, I was tired after the session in the morning stroke afternoon. Immediately I saw him and said, ah, get into the car. Let's go home. At least let me go and pray for you and all of that. Love. Love. What is the revelation of the blood of Jesus to you? You see, come Pastor Alpha. Look up, we're going to pray. Hold this phone. If I give you 10 naira to get this phone, it means i love the phone more than the money is that true the respect is not for the money the respect is what i bought in exchange for the money so when you look at what the father bought with jesus that he used jesus as an atm card to pay for something so what is the name of that something he paid for 
that Jesus was crying and saying, Father, I said, Jesus, just finish this thing. I, I know we will, we will, even if you are angry with me, I will sort you out later. But because of this man that I love. And then some person will come with one prophecy and tell you a lot of nonsense. And in five minutes, you look at the love of God and say, Ah, Lord, I always knew. Now, every good and perfect gift comes from above from above from the father of lights in whom there is no variableness do you know what is variableness that means there is predictability to his integrity it is on this that we rest that god in heaven can look at me and i know that he loves me apostle where will the partners of this ministry come from i am only a bride what's the responsibility of my faithful husband he said husbands love your wives if a husband does not love his wife he's a sinner he's not just a bad person he's a sinner If you been evil know how to give good gifts I'm showing you how 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 we conquer fear know how to give good gifts how much more your Heavenly Father so when I go to God to pray I pray with confidence this is the confidence we have that whatever we ask in his name he heareth us why because he loves us the love of God is a powerful revelation and then lastly i will pray a sound mind let this mind be in you which was also in jesus christ that means there is a thinking there is a belief system that needs to be altered and adjusted if you do not sustain a superior understanding about god and about life you will be a failure forever There is a mentality that empowers fear in our lives. Many people fail before they start whatever they are trying to do. They have failed since. They knew it will not work. Their failure only confirmed what was there. Hallelujah. Every time God gives us something to do in this ministry, I know we will win. I know we will succeed. Every time God grants me the privilege to travel somewhere to minister, I know they will be blessed. all this complex that we carry around it may have come from our backgrounds but it was enforced and empowered by the spirit of fear spirit of fear so when god is telling you to rise you say, i cannot do I'm, I'm not i'm not good enough but tonight we have to conquer fear if you don't conquer fear you will never prosper if you don't conquer fear you will not be able to go through the valley of the shadow of death without fearing evil if you do not conquer fear you will never be able to rise to do the things that God wants you to do I believe in Jesus he has given me the grace and the power the power of the Holy Spirit and I am I, the revelation of his love is an indoctrination I've been indoctrinated there is no revelation from the pit of hell that will alter the mindset that God loves me ask him you saw the shirt I wore in the morning when I say I belong to God it doesn't mean I'm born again it means I'm his property his jealousy is upon me it's a beware sign <laughs> To principalities and powers beware this man has an owner you are not a car parked outside beware like you say beware there are dogs in this house meaning the owner of this house is responsible enough to protect it hallelujah so if god tells you i will give you a million naira tomorrow you don't just sit and say oh god i i know that you are able to the love of God 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the koinonia, the fellowship of the Spirit, let this remain with you. The Lord gave me this word to share as one of the things that must be conquered. Otherwise, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, we will keep talking and jumping up and down here. And the moment we share the grace, I hope you know that when God speaks to you, I've taught you, he doesn't speak to you like he's speaking to a man. He speaks to you like he's speaking to himself. So God says, Femi, get ready um, to finish the house by October and make sure there is a good car. And while he's talking, you are just standing there hoping that somebody will bless you with lunch money and God comes to speak to you. Is it not faith that even works by love? Do you know what that means? Most times we think it's just that faith works when you love people. No. Faith works by the revelation of the love of the one who will make things to come to pass. Faith works by love. Faith works by love. I know that if I open my mouth and I speak and I utter a word, the spirit of the Lord will honor that word. Why? Because of the love of God because of the love of god it's an indoctrination no matter where i go i cannot be ignored you ignore me you will pay for it it's not pride it's true you will pay for it because sooner or later you'll find out that everything you are looking for the one who loves me is the one who gives it he will refer you back to mindset So that when you hear a testimony like i was just sitting down the lord said i should come and bless you you don't say me oh lord with all gratitude you have done it again oh thank you jesus i received this blessing i received this blessing the nation of israel knew that they were a people loved by god and they were bold when their enemies saw what god did they were afraid if they heard that the israelites were coming they would be afraid they said these people they are god they are god they are God when they started forgetting the love of God and started defying and doing all other things they became the ones afraid the Lord is my light and my salvation what can man do to me the Lord is my light he's my salvation of whom will I fear I found a cure for fear sincerely believe me when I tell you I don't fear I have seen God do things in this ministry do things in my life and do things in the life of people the revelation of his love I like to call it his jealousy when I just call it his love it doesn't carry that weight the word jealousy is very positive when I'm using it to God because it reminds me that I'm his bride it is a fearful thing for you to touch a man that God loves he will act as if he died for only him someone ready to pray tonight I pray that what I've shared tonight will really enter you the cure for fear listen if you think a job can cast out fear you are joking if you think a business can cast out fear you are joking if you think supplements can cast out fear of death you are joking if you think a a nice suv can cast out the fear of death you are joking if you think money in the bank account can cast out fear you are joking we live in a world where fear looms around the horizon everything is programmed to make you afraid but you rest in the fact that god has not given me the spirit of fear so if fear tries to come you know that somebody is offering something you need to reject you don't just reject by saying i reject fear you reject it by reminding yourself mm, i am strong in the lord and in the power of his might number two god loves me god loves me joshua selman god loves you when that revelation hits you 
then fear like darkness like smoke before the wind it just moves and it goes away i like you to open your mouth and begin to pray lord i'm tired of fear and what fear does lift your voice and pray halaborande salabrokatishia the fear of the future the fear of marriage the fear of children the fear of raising children the fear of paying bills the fear of succeeding in ministry are you praying I cause fear I cause fear I cause fear I cause fear pray he baranda salakaruda shedebrest imbrakato zelekataria natashikatas jepros kebarun shalabakariadas i cause fear god is faithful god is faithful god is faithful Shelamanda Rakato Sabrede Shalabat. Abalanda Bragada Seteke de Balada 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 hallelujah hallelujah job chapter 3 verse 25 and 26 this is job's testimony read with me please one to read for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come to me next verse I was not in safety who told him hold on what was the testimony in job chapter 1 satan testified that have you not built a hedge of protection around him and job said i was not in safety keep the scripture there please neither had i rest neither was i quiet meaning i was not peaceful king james makes it look like yet trouble came it's supposed to be that that's what brought the trouble God has protected you, yet you said you are not protected. God has preserved you, yet you said you are not preserved. God has told you, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you an, an expected end. Yet you walk daily in fear. God has told you, have you not read that you will call and a nation will answer? It's not a parable. What is a parable in the Bible? The Bible will tell you it's a parable. What is the fear for? The Lord knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble. This is, this is your Bible. When you carry this understanding from tonight, my brothers and my sisters, you know that you will never fail it's not just a jamboree pentecostal confession it's a settled reality i know this about god i know this about god 
what do you know about God that can protect and keep you in the days that come hallelujah your confidence please listen to me your confidence will have a lot to do with your courage your ability to conquer fear many of us here in ministry if you don't conquer fear you will never never be able to rise in ministry many of us here are trusting god for financial liftings if you put your eyes around the economy of nations they looked unto him and their faces were lightened it's in your bible gentiles will come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising it says that my gates will be continually open day and night they will not be short that i will receive the forces of the gentiles when he said this i believed him i believed him i believe him i don't know what you don't believe about god but tonight you are going to call fear by its name and curse it by the god of heaven i reject fear lift your voice and pray the fear of death the fear of accident pray ladies will i get a man that will marry me will i get a woman that will marry me i cause fear will i have responsible children will i ever have a house of my own hallelujah hallelujah matthew chapter 6 from verse 24 jesus was dealing with something we continue to ignore next verse therefore i say unto you take no thought the word there is don't fear don't worry it doesn't mean don't be responsible mm -mm. take no thought of your life worry what you shall eat nigerians listen what you shall drink nor yet for your body what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment next verse the fowls of the air break a fundamental law because if you don't sow you should not reap but because god doesn't only love you he has come down to even love the birds he says they neither sow meaning they should not reap yet your heavenly father not their own your heavenly father extends the benevolence even to them are ye not much better than they next verse which of you by taking thought fear worry can add one cubit to his stature worry and fear does not do anything positive to you doesn't next verse please and why ye take thought for raiment consider the lilies of the field how they grow they toil not they violate the principle of diligence and productivity neither do they spin next verse and yet i say unto you my goodness that even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these 30 wherefore if god so clothed the grass of the field this is a revelation of his love now which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven shall he not much more clothe you O ye of little faith next verse therefore take no thought and don't go to the extent of verbalizing your fear by saying what shall we eat 
what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed look at this verse for after these things do the gentiles run after for your heavenly father knows that ye have need of these things your heavenly father knows that if you stay in a rented apartment forever it will affect your christian life your heavenly father knows that if you do not smile and you are not in joy it will affect your christian life he knows he knows he knows he knows that if ministry does not work for you there will not be a platform you will be discouraged he knows there is no temptation the bible says but such as is common to man he says and with every temptation god will make a way of escape you are not the first to be challenged by poverty to be challenged by there will always be the jealousy of god will make him manipulate a way and come through for you are we together i'd like you to lift your voice and begin to speak everything you know god has said must happen to you and say lord i believe you i believe you the sorrow that comes with worry gentlemen pray stress and worry is destroying young people in our generation there are people who have lost sleep because of fear lost sleep because of worry it is the keeper of israel that does not sleep nor slumber so that i can rest great things have i spoken of you O zion great things great things he called me the head and not the tail i believe he called me above and not beneath i believe he called me the delight of nations Bula and Hephziba, I believe. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. I believe. I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. I reject fear. I refuse to fear. The love of God shields me from fear. The power of God shields me from fear the mind of christ shields me from fear hallelujah hallelujah listen many people you know when you hear me talk like this many people are apostles is because you are not looking for food to eat or this and that let me tell you this the bible says to be carnally minded is death it's not will bring death it's already death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace when you allow your mind to become carnal sensual that's the realm of satan how will it come how will i see the rain how will i see the cloud but he said you may not see rain ah, you may not see wind yet the valley shall be filled who told you water must come from above doesn't the earth have water too when it was time for noah's flood water came from the sky water came from under who told you gold is only found under the earth when a fish brought gold that means what is not supposed to make sense can bring you gold and bless you and change your life this is the god we are talking about i know him more i know what he can do i know what he can do i know what he can do you are going to hold someone's hand we'll sing this song once and then we'll wrap up for tonight Jesus, you love me too much. Oh. Too much, oh. too much, oh. too much oh.
hallelujah when you look at pastor alpha's wife or a jimmy's wife or any of our gentlemen here if you see the way for instance he decorates his wife and you are offended is she the right person to talk to you go to the husband the wife is just a wife so he says i will walk a walk in your days i want to do something that even if it were told you yourself you will not believe that there are times that a husband can buy a gift for a wife and say ah, is this not too much only where did you get the money say i've been saving this to prove something to you there are certain testimonies let me tell you that some of you are going to enter into that you will even be afraid of sharing because those who hear it will think you are lying it's true this is not motivation please listen to me i'm speaking to you by the spirit ah. when a man's ways pleases the lord that he can make even his enemies look at this abimelech took the wife of abraham abraham lied and he took the wife and wanted to lie with the wife and god said if you do this abraham hold on he's touching me if you touch this man's wife listen there are men who receive answers even before they call the moment god is on a surveillance of their life he's jealous he will be distracted by the worship in heaven and come back again the love will not allow him leave you listen king nebuchadnezzar loved daniel so much that when they now put him in a position where he had to punish daniel he could not sleep in the night by the morning he went himself oh daniel are you still alive has your god been able to deliver you a king cannot sleep because someone is in trouble that means there is someone in this country and somewhere listen was it not because of god's love for esther and mordecai the king sat down and he could not sleep he was rolling from left to right and he got up he said bring me the chronicles out of all the people that did nice things when he came to mordecai he said this man what has been done who is in the chamber Haman came he said what should be done Hi. This God bar my brothers and my sisters when you believe God and get fear out of your life you will stand in shock as you see God give you prepared blessings levels of liftings that God will bring you you will look left and right you will not know what you are doing there and say Lord I shouldn't be here and he says I brought you there I brought you there I brought you there by my spirit i brought you there please i like you to lift your voice even if this is for the last time again destroy the spirit of fear and the bondage that it has put upon your life the bondage it has subjected you to i will prosper even in nigeria i will prosper in the name of jesus christ everything that proceeds from me succeeds everything that proceeds from me succeeds no fear no fear i reject the bondage of fear i reject the bondage of fear my mind is free from fear my life is free from fear financial fear marital fear parenting fear career fear business fear ministry fear promotion fear advancement fear
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. The next time fear comes to you, don't just say, I cast you. Suddenly remember you are a woman who is married. Whether you are a male or female, everybody is a bride in the realm of the spirit. Remember who paid your dowry. Remember the price. You talk about expensive dowry, ask Jesus. Ask the father. Your own dowry, you bought cow and yam. You didn't die for your wife. Something else died. Jesus didn't say I would die for you. He died for you. And purchased you. What can separate us? The only thing that can separate you is so anything that can die for you too. Can sickness die for you? Can failure die for you? You will never find me putting my hand on my chin by the window or by the bed breathing life. No. 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 Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Why should I want? Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Why should I fear? One more time. Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Listen, I'd like you to square your shoulder and walk boldly through life. Boldly through life. Don't walk around like somebody who is at the mercy of situations and circumstances. If you don't have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your marriage. Hallelujah. It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatsoever he doeth prospers father i declare in the name that is above all names that anyone here suffering under any kind of the manipulation of the spirit of fear be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Whether it is fear because of the class of degree you finished with, fear because of your tribe, fear because of your past, fear because of those you don't have that you think are support. I cast that spirit from your life now. I decree and I declare the bondage and the chain that has come upon your mind and your life as a result of fear, let it be loose now from your life. Adam, where art thou? I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. Fear. Right in the garden. Fear. I had your voice to bless me, but I hid because I thought you will destroy me. I decree that the boldness that comes from knowing you are loved by the Father, may that boldness rest upon you now the revelation of the love of God 
that that must indoctrinate you into believing you cannot fail may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare unto you I don't care how many times you have failed by this revelation I empower you to excel may you become the desire of men may you become the desire of nations that every time men are looking for someone to bless may your face come in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that whatever the obstacle is that is making you fear is not enough to free you from the spirit of fear we also cause that barrier in the name of Jesus Christ say I refuse to fear say it I refuse to fear this is the message for tonight take it back home pray yes. we are going to round up but carry this mentality I will fear no evil no I will fear no evil reject it reject fear reject fear you know you are not good enough reject it i will fear no evil do you know you are in the valley of the shadow of death i will still fear no evil why for thou art with me hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain